so guys i just came back from from an office um so just a background uh, roughly twice in a year i have to apply for the renewal of my residence permit which is technically a student permit although i have a, a contract with polytechnico as well uh, but it's just cheaper for me to apply for it because i have to pay fees uh, for the application uh, and for the post office and for the card and for many things but in any case so every time i have to do that process it takes one complete day if i start early in the morning i end up finishing in the afternoon let's say more or less um there are many ways you can do it uh, how i did the very first time is exactly how i do it every time uh, which is that uh, th there are two steps basically uh, there are three steps since the beginning until you get your card in italy uh, the first step is that you need to have your documents ready one thing is that you can have your documents that are with you like your your student um, uh, like your uh, student enrollment in in the university um, then you need other documents like if if it's your first time you need your visa which you used to come to italy if it's the second time you need your expired residence permit or a soon to be expired residence permit it, it's a lot of technical things what does it mean soon to be uh, because um, it depends like these are the things i don't want to go right now uh, in depth in any case the first step is to have all the documents so there are documents that you have then you need to prepare a kit they call um, il kit per permesso di soggiorno that kit you can do it by yourself i have heard from different people that you can go to a post office and they can give you the kit which you can then fill you can go to Politecnico. There is a, there is some office which I never find out uh, where it is. They can give you the kit. They can help you in filling the information required in that kit for you. Or I found another way in which you can go to some office, which is a chisel office here, C S C I S L office. Uh, it's like a 13 minute walk from my place it's in um, san salvario so this is the third time i applied my i am applying my uh, residence permit uh, i go there in the morning and they make my kit then they tell me you will receive a message on your phone you can come back and collect your kit and I go in the after normally if I go in the morning I apply for the residence permit kit in that office they tell me you you come in the afternoon like you receive a message in a few hours and you go in the afternoon and you get your kit with that kit and all other documents you, you have to go to a post office which has to has a sportello a sportello counter something like that because not all the post offices will process your residence permit application L like not all of them can send it or process it uh, there are there, there are a lot of them which can but you need to find out which is the right one there is a post office in san secondo which is just in the next street to me i don't think they do that so normally i go to the one which is close to porta nuova in via sacchi no matter which of which post office you go here uh, it's always full there is a long line and you have to wait you cannot do anything about that so once you have that kit you go to the post office and there they take the fees i think roughly it costs somewhere between 100 to 120 euros in total for everything they take the payment they keep the kit the documents and everything and of course they give you a receipt of all the payments and all the verification that you have uh, submitted your documents and then the most important thing that they give you is the is the appointment date so they tell you this is the um, this is the the police office station that you have to go which i think in in turin is the only one uh, now i don't remember where probably it's in corso verona or corso venezia um 
so you get that appointment you get the time normally it's these days because of covid uh, when i came in 2020 i remember i applied and i got it after six months the appointment uh then i applied again in um somewhere in the mid of 2021 and i got the appointment in october i think and now i am applying again this is today is the 4th of july so tomorrow hopefully i will get my kit because uh, today i went to chisel in the morning they told me it's almost lunch time you should come back in the afternoon i just went there like after lunch in the afternoon they did it for me and now they told me you can come back tomorrow in the morning to receive your kit and then with that kit i will go to the post office tomorrow hopefully and then the post office will give me the appointment date and then i will have to wait i don't know what appointment date i will get like it could be in a month it could be in six months it could be in three months you have no control over that um so tomorrow i will get to know how it goes and i have to wait that's it that's that's all i can do there are a lot of complex technical complex issues in all these things that, that i never understand it's a lot of hustle for for technically let's say nothing but of course it's for something i get to stay here with that permit it's the only way i can be here let's say it's the right way to do it but that's the only way let's say for me um but yeah in any case i just wanted to make this video as a record uh, just to let you guys know and just as a as a memory or as a recording for me in case if i need to see the next time i apply for the permit because every time i forget how how is the process and i have to look back again and to check where i have to go first what i have to do what documents i need um the payments and all these things but in any case once you go through it you record what you did i think that's pretty much it um because i remember the very first time i had to do it i didn't even know how to start i had to look information online and it was more difficult the second time it was not that difficult the third time it's even better but still you have to go through each and every single process um but anyways good luck to all of you as well who, who would be applying for the uh, residence permits for the first time or for the renewal of the resident per residence permits um yeah if you need any information if you need any help although i'm i'm not very well versed with all with all these processes but i can try to help my best and wish you good luck ciao